So in this video, I want to go through three examples of sketching logarithmic curves. Uh, first one here, y equals log base 7 of x take away 2. So the first thing to identify is the vertical asymptote, which is when this bracket is 0, so that will be at x equals 2. So then our logarithmic curve will look something like this. And it will cross the x-axis when y is 0. So 0 equals log base 7 of x take away 2. So 7 to the power of 0, so going from logarithmic to exponential form, 7 to the power of 0 is going to be x take away 2. So 1 is x take away 2, so x must be equal to 3. OK, now a couple of things that could have shortcutted that there, of course, the fact that we know that it is just a translation of the log base 7 of x curve. So that means that the point here is only going to be one away from the vertical asymptote. Plus, um, if you are more confident with logarithms, you should know that log base 7 of 1 must be equal to 0. So the x take away 2 has to be 1 here. And then that means that x has to be 3. So you could do it in a couple of different ways. It really depends on how much you've seen of logarithms, how confident you are. And it's perfectly fine doing it in different ways. So number 2, y equals log base 4 of x plus 5. So first of all, the bracket is 0 when x is minus 5, so that is where our vertical asymptote must be. x equals minus 5. So our logarithmic curve will look something like this. So uh, where does it cross the y-axis? Well, that's when x is 0, so that will be log base 4 of 5. And where does it cross the x-axis? Now, you could put the y equals to 0 and go about it the same way we've been doing. Or, if you're more confident, that is when x plus 5 is equal to 1. OK? So if x plus 5 is equal to 1, then x has to be equal to minus 4. OK, so it's really, can we develop and build in those skills now so you can do this reasonably quickly? So what I'm saying here is that log base 4 of 1 is 0. Log base 10 of 1 is 0. Log base 7 of 1 is 0. This is one of the rules with logarithms uh, that we build in and that you will find out about if you don't already. So the last one. First of all, the vertical asymptote is when this bracket is 0, so that's when x is minus 25. Here's our logarithmic curve. Now, it crosses the y-axis when x is 0, so log base 10 of 25. And it crosses the x-axis where y is 0. That's when x plus 25 is equal to 1. So take 25 from both sides. So x would have to be minus 24. And so that is the sketch for number 3.